So you have a SATA cable, the data kind, not the power kind. How do you know what type of SATA cable it is? Is it SATA 1, SATA 2, or SATA 3? What speed will the SATA cable support? And is it fast enough for your drive? If you've ever looked at any number of SATA cables in the past, you may notice that they often aren't really labeled well. Sometimes the printing along the side may read SATA or 6G or even occasionally SATA 3. More often than not, however, the cables are either not labeled at all or just say SATA along with some serial numbers. The reason for that, at least for when it comes to speed, is that they're all the same. Yes, any SATA cable that fits can deliver the same speed as any other. That's because the standard for the cables has not changed since SATA was first introduced in 2003. These cables have no logic or circuitry inside them. They are literally just wires covered in plastic. Now, as far as color is concerned, it has no bearing on the cable itself. People use different color SATA cables to make their machines look aesthetically pleasing. Also, some machine builders will use different color SATA cables for different device types so that they can easily identify at a glance which SATA cable goes to which device. SATA cables are nearly always female to female gendered and are bi-directional. This means that the cable can be hooked up in either direction. For the SATA connectors, they come in both locking and non-locking varieties. The locking mechanisms can be either made from plastic or from metal. I would definitely recommend using locking varieties when possible, as loose connectors are the most common cause of degraded performance or failure in SATA cables. SATA connectors can come in three varieties, straight, right angled, and left angled. Angled connectors can allow for more space fitting and low profile setups. Right angled connectors lead the cable downward away from the device, while left angled connectors lead the cable upwards towards the top. To ensure you get the fastest and most reliable performance from your SATA device, there are some things to keep in mind in regards to the cable. Always be sure the cable fits tightly on both ends to whatever devices you are attaching. This is where the previously mentioned locking clips can really make a difference. The thickness or gauge of the wire used in the cable can also make a difference. SATA cables tend to come in 26, 28, and 30 gauge thicknesses. The lower the gauge, the thicker the wires are. A lower gauge is definitely preferred for a cleaner, more stable signal. When laying out your cables inside your machine, avoid having your SATA cables wrap around power cables or run up against the power supply. This can introduce electrical interference in your SATA cable, which will degrade the signal. So there you have it, a quick rundown on the basics of SATA cables. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. And thanks so much for watching.